We are talking Charlotte 49ers soccer with you. I'm Ryan Rose. Welcome inside our studios. We've got head coach Jeremy Gunn here. and We've got a couple seniors that are uh, leading the charge as this team continues to make strides to where, coach, you want to get them to. Uh, TJ Beaulieu and Evan uh, James down on the end. Uh, let's talk about, coach, pushing the envelope, getting to the next steps. It's becoming more and more difficult to get quality opponents to come in to play you here at Transamerica Field because of the strides you've been making now in your fifth season here. Let's talk about that a little bit as the Charlotte soccer name is out there and getting some preseason ranking and getting in the top 25. How much more difficult does that make your job to try to put good opponents on the schedule and, and even getting some some good teams to let you even come into their place? Yeah, we um, you know we've we've achieved those goals of putting Charlotte on the map, and um, you know we want to become one of the best teams in the country. And so, the last three years we've been ranked in the top 25, doing fantastic, playing great soccer, um, and and now you know it's really about getting into the NCAA tournament every year and making big inroads. And so. As a result, as you get better as a program, um, people show you a little bit more respect. And so, you know, we've got an unbelievably tough schedule this year. I think we play in the whole season five ex national champions, mm. but we're going on the road to a lot of those places. And so, you know, for the players that they're good enough, they want the challenges. We want to play against the best teams. And so, if we've got to go away, that's what we're going to do. But uh, meanwhile, we'd, we'd still love to be entertaining great teams and great crowds here at Transamerica Field. Right, and speaking of great crowds, just a good example of that was the exhibition game you guys put on um, before the regular season starts. You get North Carolina down here. Obviously, people understand the name North Carolina, but at the same time, a lot of people were coming out to see the boys in green. Now, uh, let's TJ, let's talk about that crowd a little bit. We, It was kind of a it was an actual feeling. It wasn't just the sound. You could actually feel the number of people that were there, couldn't you? Yeah. I mean, over 4,000 fans, and not many of them were wearing Carolina blue. Uh, but yeah, the the whole student body in the in the middle standing the entire game and, and cheering, and they had all the chants going. It was great atmosphere. And that's we've gotten some great crowds in the past few years, Evan, for some of the matches that that I know you guys have been a part of. What is that like to know you've got such great support out there? Does it kind of, can you feed off of that? Yeah, it's just it's just like what you live for, like you. You want to go out there and play like your best, but then knowing that you have the whole school behind you, that they actually care to come watch you play, and that that's just, I guess that's just what you want. Like you want someone to be there and watch you and support. I and mean, yeah. we, we're seeing that when you guys go on the road, on the Twitter feeds, on the websites. Everyone wants to know how the team is doing, what's the score, what's the time. What is that like to to know? When you came in here and where things have gone since you've since you've gotten here to get this program again back to some of the national prominence that uh, that it, that it has ex, ex, uh, had in the past. Yeah. I, I think you know the the people in the crowd see the performance on the field. Um, in that crowd as well, there's a lot of people from the Charlotte community, and these guys are playing great, exciting soccer on the field. But you know that they're, they're doing an awful lot of work in the community. They're they're out at clinics all the time being around the soccer folk in the community and as a result those people want to come and see the guys who've been coaching them and so it's a great reflection on just the overall program how good these guys have been the last few years you know you you build a program in many different directions and we've we've gone out there we've worked hard in the community we want to share the program with everybody in Charlotte and you know one of the big goals I had when I came here when I drove around the town drove around the city all you could ever see were bumper stickers from other schools and they weren't Charlotte schools and so it's like okay let's put Charlotte on the map let's get a bit of city pride let's get a bit of soccer community pride and um, these great players have really done that so now when when great teams with the big big star billing are coming into town to players it's not just all of those alums coming to watch their old school it's people from Charlotte wearing green and cheering us on it's it's exciting I like uh, I like the the jerseys this year. You, you, You're you, trying to replicate it. Now well, I, you know, hoops, yeah? you get you get the European style with the stripes. What what went into some of that? I know the guys, you guys embrace that stuff. It, oh, you, you, it. you look so sharp out there. What went into those decisions? I think the big thing it can't be called stripes. The stripes are vertical. Okay. Stock, they're hoops. Okay. They they got to be called hoops. All right. So you know. Gonna get my lingo yeah, right. Yeah. Modeled after Celtic. You know, a great team from Scotland. Kevin Langan, uh, associate head coach. He's a big Celtic fan, so okay. he was all about it. And what, what was cool, you, you want to have something neat and uh, something a little bit different. So uh, 
I don't get to wear the jersey. These guys earn All it, right. but I think they enjoy it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about you know the hoops and the kit, as it were, as as what you wear out there. When you when you have that look, does it give you kind of a little oomph? Is it a little, yeah, little confidence? You, you got to separate yourself from like other schools who have like the traditional jersey that are just plain or they have their names on the back. But I feel like a professional footballer with the uh, the hoops on, so I love it. All right, TJ. Same. It's, it's a bit special. You know, it's different. It's it's just uh, it's just Charlotte, you know. It's an identity that we want to put out. I like it. I like it. Let's talk about the 2011 season. You've got a lot of challenges ahead of you. Can you guys get back to the point where even if something happens in the conference tournament, you're in the discussion for an at-large bid? Well, most definitely. That's a goal for the program. You know, we, we felt a little bit hard done to last year, really. Um, we've got an unbelievably difficult schedule. Um, and so part of getting into the tournament, you've got to win your games, but you've also got to be playing a tough schedule. And uh, we know that we've got an unbelievable schedule playing against great teams. And uh, we've got the confidence and the great players and experience that we know are going to be winning lots of games. So we'll be in the tournament at the end of the season. You can count on that. All right, guys, senior leadership going to be huge as part of that. Can you pull through? Can you pull these young guys through and, and help get make the push? I know it's been, you know, one penalty kick here, one, you know, a, a, a stumble here. It's so it's so close at the end of the year, and I know you guys have been in the discussion for that large bid. You, you guys think you can pull it through and get one this year if you if you need it? Yeah, it's now or never. Okay, definitely. Last chance for you guys, senior year. <laughs> Gotta make it to the big yeah. dance. Okay. We'll see you in December. All right, we'll see you in December, <laughs> and that's a good way to leave it. We'll see you in December. There are a lot of matches coming up that you can catch these guys at home. If they're on the road, you can keep track of them. www.charlotte49ers.com. Keep up with all the men's soccer action here at Charlotte. Coach, thanks so much for your time. Gentlemen, good health and good luck to you this season. We'll send you out with a bang. Hey, let's let's play in December. That'll be fun. Sounds like a plan. All right, that's Jeremy Gunn, TJ Beaulieu, and Evan James, our, uh, two of our seniors this year. Good luck to the team. We'll see you out at Transamerica Field. Don't forget to wear green if you have Rings, hoops, what do you call them? Hoops. If you have hoops, that's even better. <laughs> but wear your green and go Niners.